Sky Sports commentator Ruben Neves announces his transfer. As we have already told you, Liverpool are considering attempting to sign Wolverhampton's midfielder. Even though the Reds took their last win by a record score, that shouldn't be deceiving. Liverpool urgently need a midfielder. Especially a name like Neves is needed. The latest information is the kind that will meet these expectations. Jurgen Klopp had already said at the press conference recently that there is a need for a new midfielder and the work continues. Although there are many names on Liverpool's agenda, Neves is one of the most serious candidates and Sky Sports commentator made a new update on this transfer. Don Goodman said after the Newcastle United match, a thundering shot from Ruben Neves. Anyone surprised? Absolutely not. If you follow the Wolves, you'll see this over and over again. I've heard Liverpool are interested in the player. The player is also eager to join Liverpool. Let's see what we'll see in the short time remaining. The Portuguese national team player opened the curtain of goals when Wolves visited Newcastle United yesterday afternoon and shot from far outside the penalty area. Goals from the midfield are something Liverpool are largely missing and would be a great addition to Jurgen Klopp, who said he wanted another signing in the middle of the park. With the transfer window closing on Thursday, reinforcements are absolutely vital. However, it will be very difficult to attract Wolves' Ruben Neves, but Fenway Sports Group is said to be able to raise large sums for reinforcements after the Reds' bad start. According to Ruben Neves' transfer mark data, it is shown to be worth £36 million, but of course, the desired figure for the transfer agreement will be higher than this. According to the information received, the Wolves club is waiting for an offer of £50 million. Ruben Neves could really have a lot to add to Liverpool midfield. The arrival of Neves from the Portuguese league to the Premier League reminds us of Luis Diaz, the shining star of Liverpool these days. Liverpool's recent activity in the Portuguese market cannot be ignored. It can be seen as a positive factor that the players recruited from there quickly adapt to Liverpool. Moreover, Ruben Neves has been playing for the Wolves for years and is already used to the mood of the Premier League. Therefore, if the transfer becomes official, I do not think Neves will have any difficulties in Liverpool. Moreover, he stated that he wanted to be in the Champions League in his post-match statement yesterday. Although his coach said that Neves will stay in the team after yesterday's match, let's not forget that there are such strategies during the transfer period. Wolves may be using a strategy to raise prices because Liverpool's interest is 100% correct. It will be a delight to see FSG's exciting action as we enter the final days of the transfer window. Liverpool defender has signalled he can leave. Liverpool defender Nat Phillips has admitted that his future at Anfield is uncertain as the transfer deadline approaches. The 25-year-old centre-back spent the second half of last season on loan at Bournemouth and has now said he is considering moving to another team on loan rather than leaving permanently. Earlier in the transfer window, the Bolton-born star was asked for a price between £12 million and £15 million, but although clubs were interested in the player, no concrete offer was made to the club. It is understood that Bournemouth is considering rekindling interest in Phillips, but manager Scott Parker has stated that the Cherries are not in a position to continue to strengthen their group. Phillips came in during the 2020-2021 season when Liverpool was suffering from a defensive injury crisis and gave his best at the time. After another injury this season, the Reds drew 1-1 with Crystal Palace and started the game in the starting 11th. However, it seems very difficult for Phillips to get time on a regular basis. As long as the stars in front of him are not injured, he does not seem to leave the jersey. This is a prime example of how you should always be ready because you never know what's around the corner, Phillips said in response to his unexpected appearance against Palace. After all I want to play but you have to take it week to week. You can never look too far into the future because you never know what could happen. But of course I love playing for Liverpool and it was nice to have the opportunity to do that against Crystal Palace at Anfield last week, he said. Bournemouth seemed like the most likely target for Phillips if a breakup occurred, 
but Parker made it clear that after the 9-0 loss to Liverpool, there were millions of reasons for his club not currently operating as they would like in the transfer market. If the problems are resolved, there is a high probability that there will be contact again. Expressing his admiration for the side he helped bring back to the Premier League, Phillips said, I had a really good time there and it was nice working with Scott Parker. He's a good manager to work with. He has very good plans and meticulous in his approach to the games. He's always fine-tuned. He was analysing and knew what he wanted from you as a player and as a team. Personally, the experience was great. It was nice to play regularly and getting promoted was something special. He interpreted these words as Phillips going to a team where he could get more time. From a Phillips point of view, it would be absurd to question why he made such a request. Ultimately, Phillips did his best and fought for Liverpool. However, he is not seen as Liverpool's first centre-back to get more time and his departure would not be bad for him. From the Liverpool side, Klopp relied on Phillips and played him during the injury crunch at the start of the season. Having Klopp at hand is definitely an advantage in such situations. However, if the player necessarily wants to go, keeping him by force is not a satisfactory choice for either side. Do you think Nat Phillips should part ways? Matt O'Reilly confirmed interest. Liverpool's transfer target Matt O'Reilly admitted there was a lot of interest in him at the end of the transfer window. Speaking to Danish broadcaster Bold, O'Reilly said he was exposed to investigations from several teams. There are allegations that he was wanted by Liverpool. Yes, some clubs have questioned me. However, I cannot say which clubs, the 21-year-old midfielder said. O'Reilly briefly gave the limelight by announcing his intention to stay at his current club, Celtic. But while it's great to know there's a lot of interest in me, I only have one thing on my mind and it's doing good for Celtic. I have no plans to leave Celtic, so if nothing happens, nothing happens and that's okay. Champions League, I'm really happy to be at the club where we'll be playing in also, which I'm really looking forward to. That's huge. I'm surprised at the interest from these clubs, so it's crazy to think if anything will happen. But if it doesn't become more tangible, then it's just news to me. So I'm conscious and I've heard the interest of some of the big clubs, but I have to admit it's not something I think about too much. But are Liverpool really interested? Even though the allegations are in this direction, it doesn't make much sense to me. Because it is reported that Celtic intends to sell him for around £20 million, and this amount is a price that will not be difficult for Liverpool. Liverpool are not currently looking for a midfielder just to make up for the numbers. Jurgen Klopp insists that any player brought in must be the right player to be effective in the first team. For this reason, more career. More experienced players who have played in bigger teams are more interested. The Reds midfield is currently entering a transition period. Young players such as Harvey Elliott, Curtis Jones and Fabio Carvalho will join the Liverpool squad in the future. Liverpool may have been interested in Matt O'Reilly in this rejuvenation policy grab. However, a time promised to the player will never happen. There may have been some interest in the 20-year-old actress for next summer. Liverpool watchers could follow him for another year and prepare for a move. It's absolutely amazing that Julian Ward has eyes all over the place. With Celtic in the Champions League, it might be worth watching the Scottish champions for Reds fans to see what all the fuss is about.